Season 2. Okay, so welcome back to some more Does Your Track Suck? I believe this is episode 7, and before we get too far into the video, I do want to say thank you for supporting the channel, and uh, more so this series, Does Your Track Suck? It really means a lot. It's a fun series to do, and I say this at the end of the video, but I know that a lot of people might not make it to the very, very, very end. I know myself included. When I watch a YouTube video, I'll watch like 99%, but about the time maybe end screens pop up, I leave the video, so probably like the last 20 seconds maybe. So if you don't hear it then, I want to say it now. Thank you for the support on the channel, and uh, more specifically, does your track suck? It really, it really does mean a lot, so uh, thank you. But we're on PlayStation today. Uh, eventually, we'll hop over to PC and hopefully Xbox, but PS4 today. So let's jump into this and see if we can find the first track. Okay, so here we have Toronto SX 2020 by Smitty. Now, he actually has uh, like five or six different versions of this track. But uh, the 2020 version is what we're trying out here. And for the most part, I really enjoy the track. It's, it's a bit different because you have to hit everything just right. I mean, you can see we're not going to over jump that really easy. Same with this triple. Grab that inside. This, I believe he wants you to triple single. I don't feel like you can quad that, but uh, I could be wrong. This is a bit different too. It's like a step up version. Oh my gosh, I messed it up. Now we're not gonna get it. We're backing up. We're backing up. There's two different ways you can hit this. All right, we got that way. That's the easier way, I feel like. And we got it. Nice. I mean, I really, really enjoy that section, both those sections. Now, this is the part of the track I'm not a huge fan of because it kind of has those S-turns. But uh, I think he did it because... Oh, uh, now we messed it up. Because it kind of throws you off for hitting that corner. And you have to hit that corner pretty hard to hit that finish line triple because it's hard to get over it. We'll let it slide this time. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I see why he did it. See if we can hit the other line on that rhythm section in the back. See, we're out of control. Now we're not getting this. So, I mean, you really have to be hitting. You can't really get out of control or you're not going to hit the lines that he wants you to hit. It's actually kind of a tough track. But it works so well. I really, really like the layout. All right, here we go. So we're going to try and... Oh, my gosh. Really? Wow, I'm so out of control. Guys, I didn't do any warm-up. Hey, give me a break. No warm-up. Back it up. All right, there's the other line. And they both work really, really, really good. I over jumped it. Well, I was going to try and step off. So you would step off and you still have the double into the corner. So interesting. I mean, there's different choices here. This is the part that I'm not a fan of. This is the only part of the track that I feel like I don't enjoy. And then we're a little bit of a case. But uh, overall, solid track. I know we messed up that rhythm section a bunch, but uh, we we're able to go back, you know, and hit it still. So. Yes, uh, one and a half stars. I feel like it's a really solid track. It it did a few things that, uh, nothing that we haven't seen really, but what I really enjoyed about this track was the fact that you had to have, I don't know if you had to have necessarily the best corner speed because we did mess up when we were able to back up and hit it, but you had to hit everything fast and it wasn't easy. You weren't over jumping anything, but you were under jumping if you weren't maintaining your momentum through the, the two rhythm sections or over some of the triples. You had to maintain your momentum or you weren't going to get it, which is what made it a bit of a tougher track. So overall, one and a half stars, really happy with it. The only part that I wasn't happy with was the, the little bit of the S turning in the back, but I feel like he put it there to make the final corner before the finish line tougher, making that triple tougher. So overall, that's the only part I wasn't a big fan of, but you know I can live with it. So one and a half stars, solid job, dude. Uh, really, really fun track. But uh, let's jump over into the second track. 
Okay, so here we have NASCAR SX Hybrid by Evan. And this track is so tough. I've been trying to get to get a solid lap and I can't even get that anymore. I'm like, I'm getting frustrated because the track is great. It's really good. But every time I get like most of the track solid, I mess up something else really bad. So we didn't even get the beginning, but if we can get rhythm sections, that's the main thing. Okay. So that one's not bad. Triple. That's actually kind of tough. And now come some of the tough rhythm sections. Like I can feel like you could triple in here, but I can't do it. I, I can't quite get it. I still need more time on learning this one. That's what I've been doing. I mean, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do, but This isn't bad. Now this next one is tough. Oh no, we messed it up. It's triple all the way through that. You know what? That's not that bad. I'll live with that mess up because I got that last rhythm section. I'm really happy about that. Okay, mess that up a bit, but we'll be okay with it. Now, oh no, no, not yet, not yet. I was so focused, dude. I was trying so hard to get through that for you. Here's the NASCAR part, the circle track. Or the oval track. Uh, really interesting how he, it's like uh, Daytona. I mean, we we have the, the circle track and then uh, the supercross track inside. Very interesting idea. Very original. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe that's double, double, double. I'm not sure. Triple? I forget what all this was because usually I failed so bad trying in the beginning that I never even got to this part. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, so far so good. Oh no, maybe you could have quadded that. I let off a bit. So you would have quadded step on, step off there. Okay, my bad. Oh man, that sand is rough. The perfect tire tap. Oh, look at that, just barely getting it. For real, but we got it kind of. Uh, there you go, that is a lap. I cannot do much better than that. I know we messed up a bit in the back there and Maybe not everything was perfect, but it is a tough track. Evan, fantastic job. Originality with the the NASCAR idea and then putting the Supercross track in the interior. Very original. I love the ideas behind it. The rhythm lanes were wicked tough, but they were doable. You could do it, but it was tough if you were going for the bigger line. And it takes time. It definitely takes some time to learn this track. This is fantastic. I'm giving it one star. Very, very good job. Very original. There really is nothing that I didn't enjoy. I mean, put, even putting those little sand jumps uh, so you couldn't double in very easy uh, before the finish line. Really great idea. Nice uh, touch to the track. Awesome. If you're on PlayStation, I really highly recommend that you try this track out because it will challenge you. It's a fun, tough, original uh, track idea. So, Evan. Great job, one star. Let's jump on over and see if we can find our third and final track. All right, so here we have our final track, NCSX2 by Michael. This track is pretty freaking amazing. I will try my best to get around it, but I will mess up some stuff, so uh, try to do it the best we can here, though. 
Wow, we actually over jumped that. I've never done that before. And then we under jump here. Uh, that's all pretty easy. It's uh, coming into the back section here is where it gets tougher. All right, this is insane. Just right. Now, I don't really know what to do here. Keep messing this up. I don't really know. I, I, I've gotten it to where I can jump to that last table and step off, but overall, I just don't know what to do there. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. There you go. That is perfect. Just right. Oh, just right. You know, kind of messed that up. Maybe you need to land on the second table to step off. I'm not 100% sure how to do that. But pretty close. That was probably the best uh, I've gotten through that so far. Man, if you're supposed to quad that, I'm not sure how because that's probably about as good as I'm ever going to get through that. Oh, no. And that is pretty much a lap. Pretty much. Oh, no, I overjumped it. Shoot. Well, you can jump all the way over that. It's no big deal, but you have to hit the finish line double just right. All right, no overjump. Better. See that tough block? I don't know. Won't reset. This is insane how the track, like, it, like... X is over itself there. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't have the right rhythm through that. I'm sorry. I just I need to practice more. Oh no, over jump. Oh no. Now we're all off. Well, fix the end, and at least we got through it that first lap really good. Now this, you can actually step up, you know, here. Make it a little bit easier. Oh, no, I let off too much. I was going to let off and then step off here. Bothers me I can't quad out here. Because I feel like it's meant to be like that. Oh, uh, well, we messed up. Messing up a lot, but you know what? I'm happy with, uh, fairly happy with our first lap. I feel like it kind of showed you what you could do and what the track, you know, more or less how he wanted you to hit the track. Interesting sand here. And that is a lap. So we're looking at under two minutes. Not bad, and we over jumped again. So it's really hard to get this actually because it's quite easy to over jump the finish line double, but super solid track. I really enjoyed this one. We're only gonna give it one star. I feel like it was a very solid track. It had some interesting lines, that rhythm section in the back. While it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of different ways to go through it, it's still a really fun, long, drawn out rhythm section. And I don't know, it's just kind of fun. The, the, where the track kind of crosses over itself, where you have that big double over the, the start straight kind of, and then you come back across, that's really sweet. It, it's a very uh, unique kind of feeling to the track. Uh, just a very interesting feeling track with a really awesome layout. Uh, nothing really bad to say about it. I don't really feel like there's anything that I would change. I think it's a very challenging, fun uh, track to play so one star solid job, dude uh, Really good stuff, but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately Remember to leave your name your track name and what platform whether it's PlayStation or PC for right now Hopefully Xbox in the future and I will try to get the door
get to those tracks in the future. But uh, again, you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. Lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.